Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to tell you how to make chicken and ginger stir fry or ไก่ผัดผิง This recipe going to be the easy for the weekday uh, meal. Okay, and I gonna start uh, with the our chicken. I use the chicken breast. I use the one pound, and I gonna seasoning with the salt and pepper. Just give them a two taste. And I already prepare everything. It's so gonna be everything. It's gonna be very really easy and quick. Alright, I put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I gonna use my hand to uh, mix the salt and pepper with the chicken. So just give them a little taste. Alright, and today I already cut all vegetable, so it's gonna be very really quick and easy. Now I have the medium heat, and then I con going to add a uh, two tablespoon cooking oil. Just wait a second until your oil hot before you put the garlic. Okay, and now I'm gonna add two cup chopped garlic. Two cup chopped garlic. Okay, go in and mix them. Okay, not allow them to be burned. Okay, cook until the garlic change the color to a golden brown or give you a very good smell. Okay, I keep stir my garlic and now my garlic turn color to brown and then I um, give me very good smell. I'm gonna add the chicken. And if you do this at home, you can marinate your chicken before you prep pep all your vegetables. Before you cut all vegetables, just uh, marinate your chicken first. Alright, I'm gonna give the chicken a uh, good mix. Okay, and I use the chicken breast today and add salt and pepper before I cook. Alright, and right now the chicken um, already halfway done. I'm gonna add the uh, ginger. I do in the ginger. Okay, so this is a lot of ginger because this recipe is ginger and chicken. Okay, I use three out the durian ginger. Okay, put them all in. I put the ginger early because I want the essential oil um, from the ginger. Okay, to get them the chicken very good smell cooked with the chicken. Okay, and keep stirring. All right, okay, and now just um, when now chicken already cooked, I'm gonna add our carrot. Same thing I'm doing our carrot, same side with the ginger. Okay, I do one small carrot, about three out. Okay, the carrot going, and I'm gonna stir the carrot and ginger. The ginger chicken is very popular in Thailand, it's very simple for um, Thai family. They only make this for the dinner or for lunch. Okay, next I'm going to add the Thai soybean paste. This is a new bottle. I'm gonna use the two tablespoon, but this new bottle is a little bit for me. Okay, I use two tablespoon. Um, Thai soybean paste a little bit salty. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, look like this. I use a healthy boy band. All right, now I'm gonna mix the soybean paste with the um, everything. Mix them well together before before I add the next ingredient. All right, and this will be nice and quick. So next, I'm gonna add uh, our onion. I use the uh, white onion and I um, slice them same size. Mix them well, right, and the heat to the medium high. And at the same time, after I add the onion, I'm gonna add the mushroom. Okay, I use the baby bear mushroom. I use the eight out for the mushroom. Okay, okay I'm gonna give them the good mix. Oh my goodness, that smell really good already with the ginger. Next, I'm going to add the red bell pepper. Okay, keep this a really pretty color. Alright, and I'm gonna give them the good mix. Okay, now now look at my wok. All vegetable and chicken together are gonna full, full, but it's perfect. This recipe will be really quick because I use the chicken bread so they cook really fast. So you just keep on asking the next vegetable really, really quickly. Alright, just give them the mix a couple minutes. Okay, next. I'm going to add our oyster sauce. I will use a one tablespoon oyster sauce. Okay. Oop. One big tablespoon oyster sauce. Okay. So oyster sauce go in. 
And the next is gonna be the seasoning soy sauce. My favorite golden mountain. Okay. For the golden mountain, I will use one and a half tablespoon. It's new bottle again, so I use a lot of golden mountain. So a little bit slow for me to pour. Okay, next, one tablespoon the fish sauce. Okay, the fish sauce go in. Okay, all right. And I have the one teaspoon the white sugar. Okay, white sugar go in. Okay, let me mix it just a second before I add the next ingredient. Next, I'm gonna add the white pepper. I can use about um, one teaspoon white pepper. Okay, and if you like spicy, for this recipe, you can add on chili. If you like the uh, spicier, then just the ginger and the pepper. All right, gonna give this a good mix again. All right, we almost, almost done. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, give this a taste. Okay. Wow, the ginger, the ginger, ginger very touched me, okay? And the last ingredient I'm going to add now is going to be the green onion, okay? Cut the same size green onion with um, some bell pepper and uh, white onion, all right? I'm gonna give this as a last mix. Oh, look a lot better when you add some green into it. All right, that's it. That's all, that's all we're done. It's easy, it's easy and really, very good. Wow, then I already turned off our stove and I gonna serve it with the jasmine rice. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna be a good dinner for me and the cameraman. I really excited to try our chicken and ginger stir fry. And again, this is a really quick meal for your weekday and also it's easy. Um, it's perfect for me if you know I'm just a brand new mom and also um, the ginger, it helped me get more milk. Alright, I'm gonna try right now. Okay, eat with jasmine rice. Okay, I grab a chicken and a salt in the bottom and some mushroom, ginger, and onion. All right, wow, this is a big bite, but I love it and I know it. Mm. Ginger, ginger. Mm. Ginger, um, it's a little bit hot heat from the ginger, but then sweet from all vegetable. So it's very good together. Mm -hmm. Another bite with a lot of vegetable and a lot of ginger. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm, sorry. It's easy, easy. And um, if you make it and if you love ginger, sorry about that. <laughs> You're gonna love this recipe. I can't wait to eat it all the plate right now. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. Please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.